Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodora Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader, your guide to a clearer perspective. I've got a message for Sagittarius today. This is your beneficial and abundant message from the universe. I will continue to check in with my guides as we um, continue this reading. So, Sagittarius, it's funny. Some of the readings this week have started off dark and gone light. And yours starts off light and goes into the dark, but not in a bad way. Not like the dark, but just the inward, the introspection. So we've got the Ace of Wands for the energy presented to you by the universe. This is some kind of inspiration and that connection to that divine source. And um, it's funny to me right now, looking at it, this looks almost like a flower. Like the wand is the stem and the sun is the flower. So this is a chance to really show your own power, to show your true power, <laughs> flower power. <laughs> That's funny. So we're talking about different opportunities to show your power in a new way. So this is definitely the start of something new. There's definitely a springtime vibe with this card when everything is being birthed and renewed. So this is a bigger sense of power for you coming from the universe. And um, I'm feeling like you're, you're gonna be able to kind of tap in or reach into even a higher dimension than what you're used to. There's just, there's a higher aspect coming through that you're gonna be able to touch. Um, this is going to be glimpses at first. I don't think this is like a whole <laughs> everything breaks open, but I think it's just kind of like touching it and glimpsing it a little bit. If you have a lot of Aquarius in your chart, I encourage you to listen to also the Aquarius reading because there is a similar thing, but coming from a different, different way. So you're responding with the King of Wands and interesting because we have the beginning of this cycle or the beginning of this series and here's the end and you're feeling like the end. So I feel like in some ways you feel like you have all the power and you have all the ability and all of that sense that you will ever possess. Like you're kind of feeling like, yeah, but I'm complete, I'm done. And um, I like this idea, but, but I've got it. This is going beyond. This is going beyond what you think you've got, beyond the power you think you have, beyond the information that you're capable of receiving. This is going beyond that. And I don't think that he's not open to it. He seems very receptive and ready for this shift and for this upgrade. And he's kind of looking out for it, but at the same time, because of his role and who he is, so the way you define yourself, it limits him a little bit in, because, you know, he's the king, right? This is king of wands. What if the information that comes in makes him take a different position or makes him have a different identity or has to have him pick up completely different responsibilities than what he would take up as king? So do you see how the way you identify yourself and the way you describe your abilities is maybe sometimes limiting. I think that's the more you're able to drop those, the more of this new place you're gonna be able to touch. It's almost like I'm seeing a, seeing a ceiling with a little bit of a curve on the bottom of it. So I know we're talking about dimensions because space-time is a curved dimension. So I know that's where we're going. And the interesting thing is that his wand extends off the page, it extends off into the sky, but this wand is about touching even higher. So again, going even higher and differently than where you're used to going. So let's keep going with your reading because it, it continues to be interesting. <laughs> well, it's always interesting with you, Sagittarius. We've got the Eight of Swords going into the Four of Pentacles, and then finally <clears throat> ending in the Hermit. So the theme here is the idea of, of shutting down or closing down and then opening back up. Having a closure or having a, a moment of blindness and then having a moment of insight. So there's, a, there's kind of a process and a dichotomy happening. It, I really think this is a continuation of what we talked about here, but maybe stated in a different way. So this is allowing yourself to be blind to really what's in front of you. And what we're talking about is that power, right? That sunshine. And we look at the sun in this card, and then there's a little bit of fire back here. So 
the more you close yourself off to this possibility, the less you're going to see. And I know that seems very logical, but these willing, these willing blindfolds that we put on ourselves, these could be self-sabotaging patterns. This could be fear of a deeper power because then who are you or where, where are you going to be when you assume that power, when you take that on? Because this is not just about not knowing what it is. These are willful things that we do to change our vibration away from where it could go because we don't want it to go there. Um, it's tricky because I know if you're watching this video, you are a seeker and you're wanting to get to your highest place. But sometimes the pull to the habits and the ego is so strong that it's very difficult to say no to them. You know, I think that without exception, I'm pretty sure everyone experiences that on this path. And this is just pointing this out to you that there is another layer. There is another level of your power that's ready for you, that you're, you're ready for, but understand that there's going to be the desire, even if it's subconscious, even if it's subtle to be a little blind to that power, like you don't want to see it. Now we get the four of pentacles next, and this is literally about getting out of the box. Get yourself out of your box. So like we talked about dropping the identities that you have for yourself, this is understanding that unlocking this power and this new dimension of yourself does cause you to leave your box. So what has been comforting to call yourself, what has been comforting as your point of reference? So, if you're someone who likes to compare yourself, like this is that and I'm this, and this is that and I'm this, and I'm not that and I'm not this, like those aren't gonna work anymore. This is totally just a new definition altogether. It's almost like you have to use a different language to describe yourself. And what's opening up? Well, after we get through this opening up the box, we have the hermit. Who is that deep and inward sacred teacher who likes to take you to new places? And he's reaching up into a strange place. I've always thought the color of the sky is a bit odd. And I think this is that other dimension we're talking about. So you see that you're still on the ground. You see that you still have a companion. You see that you're not alone in this quest and in this, it's almost a rebirth, but it's not because you're just, it's kind of like pulling off the, the umbilical cord or pulling off the membrane off your face. Like it's, it's getting that junk off so you can see who you were actually more clearly. And they're talking about more freedom of movement. So feeling more freedom for you once you've realized this power, once you've realized that you can rise above things that tend to hold you down, the mundane, um, there's it's just like ever nourishing freedom for you at the end of it. Um, I'm also getting the word precipice. I know that he's standing on a cliff. So I'm hoping for this reading for some of you, this is like a little like air coming on your back, like a little bit of a push to be willing to go up to that new height and not to be kind of stuck down in that other place where you like to be stuck. And there's something else in the Hermit card. So just give me a second here so I can pull this out for you. So the idea is that the battle has been hard. The battle for this insight has been very hard. And the battle for this position has been incredibly difficult. But there's... um. There's a blessedness, there's a sacredness. I'm looking at all the lights in his lantern. And I've never noticed before, there's these tiny little delicate patterns on the lantern. I don't think this thing is focusing enough for you to see them, but there's these little tiny, they're almost like little fairy lights on it. So there's the, the semblance of the ethereal world and the semblance of being able to connect more strongly to those veiled worlds that are, are um, kind of a little bit beyond our perception but it does take going to a place that's a little bit weird. And, um, you know, this is about the journey of illumination of truth. You notice that the hermit really has no face. We can see his beard. So the, the hermit is without an identity. So the more you can drop those identification markers, I am, this is, this is who I am, this is what I do, this is what I believe in, really the more you drop those, the more openness you have to those other places beyond duality,
beyond definition and beyond this limiting dimensional plane that we live in. And that's really the key to that higher knowledge and higher wisdom. So one last card for you, Sagittarius, your advice card is this Four of Swords. So meditation is incredibly important to you. This little, we have similar colors here. Can you see these are like, they kind of blend together. So the key to accessing this place is meditation as much as you can. And meditation is also concentration and focus. So if you're not a meditator, if uh, <laughs> sitting there for, for 20 minutes scares the living daylights out of you, you can turn any task into a meditation. So chopping vegetables, washing dishes, taking a walk, as long as you are able to focus on the task, feel the sensations in your body and be totally present without escaping into the thoughts and the monkey mind, that's a meditation. So it's about being present, not necessarily literally meditating if that's not your thing. So questions about this, please reach out. You know, I always love to hear from you. And just to let you know, this is the last call for the New Year's slash solstice readings. These are special readings that I had designed for the new year set to galvanize your path forward with some really positive empowerment. So if you've been on the fence and you're not sure, this is kind of your last opportunity. So I encourage you to check it out. There's a direct link in the description below. Either way, I look forward to seeing you next time on True Guidance Tarot and have an amazing, wonderful week.